Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at where tropical storms form and why. This is part of Paper 1, Unit A, The Challenge of Natural Hazards. Why do most tropical storms happen close to the equator? Latitude is the most important influence on global variation in climate. Tropical storms occur in the tropics between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn between 5 degrees and 30 degrees north and south of the equator. This is because the equator receives much more solar radiation, also known as insulation, than the other latitudes, and this is because of the curvature of the Earth. The sun's rays hit the equator directly, so they are more concentrated, whereas towards the poles the rays hit at an angle, so the radiation is spread out more. This means that air along the equator gets heated more. That heated air is less dense, so it rises up, forming an area of low pressure, and the formation of clouds that are a vital ingredient of a tropical storm. After rising, the air begins to spread out and flow towards the poles. The poles are areas of high pressure as they receive less solar radiation to make air rise. The reason that tropical storms occur where they do is because they need a certain combination of conditions to form. They need a sea temperature of at least 27 degrees Celsius to a depth of around 60 to 70 metres. This provides the heat and moisture needed to make warm air rise and then release latent heat which powers the tropical storm. Tropical storms usually form during the summer and early autumn where it is warmest and there is low wind shear. This is important as it enables the storm clouds to form without the risk of being torn apart by the wind. Many people think that tropical storms occur along the equator. This is not true as the Coriolis effect here is too weak to cause the wind to bend. We will talk about the Coriolis effect in a separate video. A tropical storm is a spinning mass of cloud and you can see plenty of them on the screen. Between 80 to 100 occur each year and in order to make, be able to compare them we give them names. The first storm of the year usually starts with an A, then B and so on and they normally alternate between male and female names. For example, in 2017, we saw Hurricane Harvey, followed by Hurricane Irma, followed by Hurricane Jose, all chosen in advance. However, names used for devastating storms are not reused. Tropical storms have different names depending on where they are in the world. Hurricanes form in the Atlantic and the Eastern Pacific Oceans, Typhoons form in the west of the North Pacific and cyclones form in the Indian and the South Pacific Oceans. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on where tropical storms form and why. Thank you for watching.